All right, everyone, welcome to quarantine workout number 78. And for this one, guys, you will need either one dumbbell or a weighted object. So let's get to it right now. You're gonna start with a little bit of a mobility piece here. You have pec stretch on the wall, 40 seconds each side, and then a wrist stretch, 40 seconds going in each direction. The warm up, I'm gonna go through it with you guys. So let's get first that stretch that I said, pec stretch right here, guys, 90 degrees angle. You're gonna rotate, you should be feeling on your shoulders and your chest. For the wrist, knees on the ground, fingertips facing you. You're gonna go 40 seconds clockwise, 40 seconds counterclockwise, getting the wrists nice and open. Then we're gonna go 30 seconds of a Spider-Man stretch each side, rotate the elbow to the ground, reach the sky, open up that T-spine. Then you're gonna perform one push-up. Then you're gonna go 30 seconds of mountain climbers right here. Bring your feet as close to your hands as possible. Then we're gonna perform two push-ups. Then we have 30 seconds of a down dog. Push your head through, open up that overhead position. Then you're hitting three push-ups. After that, we have 30 seconds of sprawls. Kick the legs back, back into your hands and stand up, no need to jump. Then four push-ups. And then last one, guys, 30 seconds of slow burpees right here, waking up the body. And then five pushes for just going one time through. After that, grab a lighter dumbbell or a lighter weighted object. If you have, we're gonna go 20 seconds now. The movements are the following. 20 seconds of dumbbell deadlifts right in the middle of my legs right here. Make sure you hand to the hip. Then 20 seconds of high pulls. 20 seconds of snatches. And then 20 seconds of a strict press. Make sure you're keeping the rib down here, guys. Core is nice and tight. Once you're done with all on the right, move on to the left. That's gonna be your dumbbell warm up. Then, coming closer, let's talk about your workout. We have four time, a lot of volume today. 30, 20, 10 reps of alternating dumbbell power snatches and push-ups. So how does it work? 30 snatches, 30 push-ups, 20, 20, 10, 10. Once you finish that final set of 10 push-ups, you will go directly into 10, 20, 30 of dumbbell goblet thrusters and then burpees. So rep scheme going reverse order now, 10 thrusters, 10 burpees, 20, 20, 30, 30, and then you are done. The whole piece is four times. So like I said, guys, a lot of volume. It's a two piece workout. So how do you start? You wanna start a very nice and smooth pace. For the dumbbell snatches, as always, keep that focal point now, we're gonna Alternate every repetition here. You can muscle snatch if you want, or if that dumbbell is more on the heavier side, you can drop into that power stance and then switch sides. Same idea here, smooth and controlled pace. For your push-ups on the bigger sets, guys, break these up, make sure they're full range of motion, chest hits the ground, push away, just lock out the elbows, Core stay nice and tight. You're looking for that straight line. If you need to modify knee push-ups, same ideas, same points of performance. So the set of 30, set of 20, you want to break these up. Make sure you don't hit that wall. Once you finish this part, now our other two movements, the goblet thrusters right here, guys, holding by the head. Sit back into that full squat. Punch that dumbbell overhead. Squat using the leg drive here. Take that deep breath at the top, control your heart rate. And last one, the burpees, two options. Kick the legs back, chest and thighs hit the ground, kick right back into, clap overhead. Or you can step in, step out, and step into it. That's it for our movement. Again, guys, start smooth, pick up the pace as you go. Very challenging workout. I hope you guys stay safe up there. Whatever you guys need, let me know. I'm here for you and I'll see you guys next time.